Hello students. Today we will discuss about the pressure and thrust. So, what is uh, talk about the pressure of fluid? Suppose that in a container gas is enclosed, then that gas exerts pressure on the walls of the container. The liquid is kept in a container, that liquid also exerts pressure on the walls, and we have got atmospheric pressure. It is because of the air color present, uh, air present in the atmosphere that is called atmospheric pressure. A scalar quantity, how that is defined, we will discuss that. First, let us mathematically understand what is the pressure, and we will also discuss about the thrust. Uh, fluid thrust then we will go to the pressure so fluid thrust thrust is basically the force it is basically the force so what is that force if i take a container and inside the container i take liquid say water and i dip any material inside it irrespective of the shape and size of the object that is uh, immersed whether it is a uh, planar or linear or of any dimension or any shape then that immersed part of the substance the liquid exert force on each part of this and that force always acts perpendicular to the surface so if i immerse the planar surface like that then the force the thrust should be perpendicular to the surface if the force cannot be like that is always perpendicular the fluid force is always perpendicular to the surface of the object which is immersed whether I keep the object like this or like this or any orientation irrespective of the orientation the force will be always perpendicular so if the object is placed like this force will be in this direction if I change the orientation of the object like this the force will be in this direction or in this direction that is always perpendicular to the this force is called as the fluid thrust fluid is a common name for uh, solid and uh, liquid and gas so it's a common name for liquid and gas and whatever the liquid or the gas that exists on the object in which its medium in its medium fluid thrust so in simple i will i'll say that if i have a container containing some uh, liquid if I place an object like this then the liquid will exert a force that is called thrust always perpendicular to the surface this force is perpendicular this force is perpendicular always perpendicular if I change the orientation, then also this force will be perpendicular. It is always perpendicular. So that force is called as the thrust. So I write the thrust is it is the So obviously, if I talk about the wall, this liquid is also in contact with the wall. So to the wall also, the force will be like this. Suppose I have a wall like that. Suppose I have this type of uh, container containing liquid. Then uh, the force on this wall will be 
like this the liquid will exert the force like this like this always perpendicular to this the force will be like that here it is like this so irrespective of the surfaces the force is always perpendicular this is what is the thrust now what is the pressure what is the fluid pressure the pressure is <coughs> defined as this thrust per unit area the perpendicular force acting per unit area so it is defined as This is the formula, the perpendicular force of an area. That means if I give one example, then uh, I have, suppose this is a liquid in a container. I consider a cross section like that. Then I have, suppose this makes an angle theta then what is the what is the, suppose that uh, <clears throat> this force acting in this direction is suppose uh, f then the component this component is f cos theta then i will consider this f cos theta as the perpendicular component of this force so the force obviously i change the direction the force would be like this so the object is experiencing force if i hypothetically consider this section of the liquid or i consider a substance which is in a place in this orientation then this component of this force is perpendicular to the surface or should be in the direction of the area vector so in this case uh, suppose this area is a then i write pressure as f cos theta upon a it is not a by a it is f cos theta upon a this is correct so if i write p is f upon a it is wrong because in this case it is not a by a it is the component of the force which is perpendicular to the surface so because the force always acts perpendicular to the surface so therefore this force is predetermined that it has to be always perpendicular to the surface so therefore pressure is a scalar quantity because the force has predefined direction is not going to change so therefore is a fixed direction so it's called as a scalar quantity so pressure is a scalar quantity and write the units of pressure in cgs and si system you can write that uh, so pressure is found to be f perpendicular component upon a here the unit of pressure is newton per meter square which is also known as pascal one pascal is one newton per meter square now the dimension force of an area the force is mlt minus 2 divided by l square this comes out to be ml minus 1 t minus 2 this is the dimension of pressure force of an area of force dimension is ml t minus 2 divided by l square is ml minus 1 t minus 2 so and you must remember that one atmospheric pressure is 10 s to 5 nearly 1.01 i leave that is 10 s to 5 pascal or 10 s to 5 newton per meter square 
this information is useful here obviously 1.01 .01 is there but i am just neglecting it 0 1 so i write just 1 minus 5 for practical calculations so pressure only uh, pressure is the square quantity and this is the unit that we are going to use and uh, we will know more about the pressure at uh, different levels of the liquids and we will also discuss about various uh, concepts about pressure electron as we proceed okay thank you